What's up LEGO Builders? Welcome back to Coconut Brick Studios for the announcement of my next LEGO Star Wars mock project. So there's a lot to unpack in this video, but what I want to address first is this mock project is not going to be replacing Kato Nemoidia. It's not going to be coming after that. This is going to be replacing my Geonosis mock series. So this will be like my side mock project, the one that comes out every Thursday. I've been putting a lot of thought into what I want this next this next mock project to be. I know a lot of you guys remember I've been talking about doing an Endor mock. I've been buying up Stormtroopers. I even bought the UCS ATAT. -AT. I do really want to do an an Endor mock. The problem I was running into is I just couldn't figure out what exactly I wanted to do. If I wanted to make it a canonized mock, something that actually happened in one of the movies or comics, or if I wanted to go my own route and design my own base or mock. And I just couldn't find something that I was happy and excited about. And I really didn't want to start a project that I already wasn't passionate or passionate or excited about because you know, that probably wouldn't be very fun for you guys and it definitely wouldn't be very fun for me. And there's, you know, the running, and then I'd be running the risk that I just wouldn't end up finishing it all. And I, these mock projects are pretty expensive. They do take up a lot of my time and that's like the lifeblood of my channel. So I really tried to make sure that the mock I pick is gonna be something that everybody's gonna get excited about and something that I'm definitely ready to finish. So with all those factors in mind, I've decided to table Endor for the time being until I figure out what it is exactly that I want to do with it. So now that I got all that all out of the way, got everything squared away, this next mock is going to be something a little bit more unique. This is the first time I've ever done something from this section of Star Wars, and that is going to be Star Wars Legends. So this isn't going to be actual official canon, although a lot of people do consider Star Wars Legends to be canon of a sort. And then one of the people who entered my mock contest actually did a mock from this planet that I'd been wanting to do and I saw it and I finally was like you know what I think it's time I really want to do this mock I'm excited about it I've got the parts for it and it, I decided it was time to pull the trigger if you're excited to see what I'm gonna be doing next don't forget to go down and execute order 66 on the like button and while you're down there if you haven't already don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on any of the updates when this mock project begins without further ado I've strung you guys on long enough it's time to announce what I'm gonna be doing next. For my next Lego Star Wars mock project, I am going to be building the ambush of Shelter Base from the Battle of Jabim. I'm so pumped about this, guys, and I'm sure there are a lot of you guys who are excited about this, and I'm sure there are probably also a lot of you, myself included at one point, who didn't really know what Jabim was or the Battle of Jabim. So to give you guys a little bit of a history lesson, Jabim is a planet from Star Wars Legends. It is located in the Outer Rim. It's a very dark, rainy, and muddy planet, similar to the conditions that we see on the planet of Mimbam from the Solo movie. The Battle of Jabim begins as the Republic learns that the planet once loyal to them has now fallen under Separatist influences, so Anakin and Obi-Wan have been dispatched with a clone army to retake the planet. They arrive, and after some early victories, the Republic sets up a fortification called Shelter Base, which kind of becomes their main base of operations. Things go pretty much, things go south from there for the Republic, but I won't get into all that now. My mock will just be depicting a large separatist ambush of Republic troops at Shelter Base. I'll be using the Battle of Jabim comic books for inspiration, and I'll get more into that later. This is a very simplistic, watered down explanation of what happened. It's a pretty cool campaign, and I would definitely recommend taking a look and doing some research for yourself. It's a pretty cool story. I think you'd like it. All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty of what this mock is gonna look like. You're gonna see a lot of this comic coming out, coming up in this video and throughout the series. This basically depicts the beginning of the Battle of Jabim, and I think there's one, maybe two more issues after this that cover it. I'm gonna just use this one for now because the scene that I'm gonna be depicting is kind of the climax of this comic but it's already been really handy just helping me see what the terrain looks like, what the structures look like, what the soldiers look like, all that good stuff. So I'm very glad to have this. And I did also create, I did also draw out this mock-up for you guys. So you can see it's called the Ambush of Shelter Base. This is what the main structure of the mock is gonna look like. It's gonna be freeform, so it's gonna be kind of like a oval looking thing, almost like a football. And up here is gonna be where the main brunt of the action happens. I actually want to create, have this section be raised up, probably maybe like this high. And then right here on this section, you can see I wrote, a, I'm gonna have a rock wall with a ravine below. So it'll be a plateau kind of up here where the ambush is happening. And then I want it to come down like this, have a little section down here where I have maybe some troops or 
trying to scale the wall and get behind the base. I'm not too sure, but I'm really excited to do that because this is one of the first times I've ever had two separate layers like that. And I've never really built a freeform mock that's super tall, so that'll be a fun challenge for sure. I'm not sure what the entire base looks like. I'm mostly going off of the pictures I have in here, and the best one I have so far is kind of this edge of the base. So you can see you've got this large building right here. You've got some tents around it, some kind of generator, some industrial power looking things, and then like a bunker of sorts over here. So I'm just gonna be kind of recreating this area. You can see the separatist forces are up here. So we're gonna have that main building right here and kind of the almost the center of the mock with that ATTE walker next to it. And then we're gonna have a cluster of smaller buildings and tents surrounding it. And then up over here, we're gonna have the separatist forces. From what I've seen, they have, they mostly just have spider droids, you know, battle droids, and then hellfire droids. So I'm trying to decide if I wanna include a spider droid or a hellfire droid, and then I'll have the separatist forces as well as some mate some troops native to the planet of jabim these guys right here they're called nimbus troops or nimbus commandos so you'll see a bunch of those guys sprinkled in if you do end up forgetting some of the stuff today that's fine you know i'll cover it again probably i'll cover it a bunch more times as the series goes on like i said you'll have the separatist forces up here kind of coming down here and pinning the republic forces against their base and i'll just have the republic troops kind of sprinkled throughout over here and then i'm trying to decide if i want to have the walker blown up or defending the base. As for this walker, I'm gonna be using the 2013 Playscale one just because I couldn't fit an actual UCS sized ATTE in this mock. It is still gonna be a pretty big mock. You can see right here, um, the rough dimensions so far are about two to three feet wide or long and two feet wide. So that's gonna be pretty much most of this table length, I think from about right here to that bottle. And then it's gonna be the entire width of the table. So this will be my biggest freeform mock by far. Over here, I've got some more detailed sketches of the buildings and shout out to Carbon Builds. I don't know if he actually watches my channel, but I was looking at one of his Jabim mocks and he had a really cool page where he sketched out a lot of his builds and what he wanted his structures to look like. And I took some inspiration from him. I don't draw nearly as well, so I kept these pretty simplistic, but you can see this is kind of what the building is gonna look like. The generator coming out the back. Uh, this thing I feel like is probably gonna end up looking pretty similar to that shield generator we see on Hoth. I wanna get into what the color of the mock is gonna be and I'm really excited Excited because originally when I planned for Jabim I thought I was gonna have to get a lot of brown but looking at this comic it looks like it's pretty much dark tan uh, I feel like that most closely I feel like dark tan most closely represents this terrain and that building so I'm really excited about that because that means I can use all the parts I used for Kato Nemoidia and Utapau which means this mock will be a lot cheaper than I thought it would be, which will allow me to start this sooner and you know just make it better because I won't have to spend as much on just the bricks. I can spend more on like the minifigures, the tents and the buildings and stuff. As for the clone troopers, you can see I'm gonna be using realistic phase one clone troopers. Probably have Anakin in there. So with all that out of the way, let's hit the outro. All right, so the last thing I wanna talk about before I end the video is the timeline of this whole mock. Now that you know what it is, what it's gonna look like, what's gonna be going down there, I wanna talk about when I'm gonna be starting it. You guys already know it's gonna be taking place on Thursdays. And as of right now, I have a tentative start date for April 7th. This is subject to change. I wanna give myself some time after Kato Nemoidia just to relax and step back from building. Anytime I get done with a big project, I'm always a little bit burnt out kind of a little tired of building and I'm already starting to feel that. So I wanna make sure my excitement and energy levels are at 100% when I start Jabim. All that being said, it could be a little bit sooner, could be a little bit later, but I'm gonna shoot for April 7th as of right now. Which, you know, that is about a month from now, but I am still working on Keto Nemoidia updates and in between then and now, I'm also going to be having some smaller mocks that will be coming out. So there are still gonna be plenty of mocks and cool stuff coming to the channel. All that being said, thank you guys all so much for watching. I would love to hear what you guys think about this idea in this series down below in the comments. If you guys are excited, if there's anything specific you wanna see or if you have any other questions about it, feel free to hit me up down there and I will catch you guys later. But until next time, happy building.